Hello everybody, my name is Anthem, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn as Britain let us continue on from where we last left off. So, uh, we're doing some weird shit. Uh, we're invading right now Germany. Russia is also involved in the war. Hopefully, um, I kind of want more people to join in. You know, try to contain my aggression. Right now, you know, Queen Elizabeth had, you know, the ruler of everything that is uh, all and good in the world. How are you guys doing down here? I mean, you should be doing quite fine. Just to, you know, just to clear the wars. Rwanda has now been called against us. Uh, that's okay. Are they all in a? Uh... Okay, they're all in that organization. CSTO. These guys just like not have any strength. I don't just fight war. No, you're the war. Yeah, the war goal against you was like forever. What about against Nigeria? It's gonna take ten days. How many troops does Nigeria have? Only eight divisions. So that is definitely looking like a viable target in the future. And I'm still not too sure how NATO works because clearly I thought they would have been called in by now, but apparently that's not the case. Are you worth um? No, so Finland decided not to join the war against um, the Russians, which I guess is not a, not a huge surprise. How many troops does Russia have? Oh, they have like 55 divisions. Which is more than basically I think the rest of us have combined. People are joining Rwanda. Docking rights, non-aggression pack. Sure, why not? Yes, we'll go something like that. That'll be our main plan. Are these guys in position yet? Not quite, but we're getting there. And our extra marine has arrived. Okay, so you should be fine in this attack. The Germans kind of suck. Like, we're spending like all of our money on the military. I don't know what these guys are doing. Oh, they also have a large military spending. Okay. Like, clearly, we need to be on total war. Well, you know, at some point, that'll be nice, but not for the time being. What is your problem? Larger crossing people non position. Okay, fair enough on that. So, Bennett has capitulated. Uh, you guys get to a front line here. Just be ready to attack them just in case. Yeah, sure, for Russia, you can also have some docking rights. Bennett has capitulated. It should have been, you know, just a, a total defeat, but apparently not. I'm just hoping that none of these people join, like, CSTO that I'm fighting against. Okay, so we are uh, doing fantastic work here. So 98. You guys are slowly getting to where you need to be. So you can probably cut them off here. Not an aggression pack with all CSTO. I will take it. Pre selection threshold. No, that's fine. But we'll combat some foreign influence. Right now, we're only a. Uh, where's our independence rate? I don't know. It's somewhere. So the Marines for now. Oh, I kind of. I, I, I fucked this up. Okay. You guys. Front line here. The Marines, I'm going to have the front line right there. And they're going to do like a... Uh, an attack to the south like that. Ethiopia joins the STO. Everybody's joining everybody. It's fine. It's all going uh, well and good. Oh, the game's doing something. I don't know what it was doing, but it was doing something. Apparently we're actually losing the battle here. These guys are pretty high defense, so how about you guys hold off for now? We'll cut the Germans uh, at least off from their Danish allies. Uh, China has joined the war against us. That means we are going to lose our volunteer forces, but that's A-OK. -okay. And yeah, they're doing a counter attack. Japan has joined Denmark. Okay. 
Okay, China's called Ethiopia. So Japan's now involved in the war. And they are very up... I mean, but they have, like, massive penalties, don't they? But I thought of medium military spending, so I guess maybe they'll, uh, get something done. Yeah, these guys... Actually, it looks like South Korea is sending some troops here. Japan showing Rwanda. Etri has been called into our faction. I've basically started World War II over, like, the dumbest shit, but that's fine. Uh, most of the war is actually going on in, like, Africa and stuff. The non-aligned... What what's your faction? The non-aligned Asian Organization for Peace and Stability. Sure. You fucking losers. Join in the war. War is everywhere. There shall be no such thing as peace. As long as I am alive. Uh, we can go there anyways. That actually is a completely safe province to go to. It looks like Turkey is sending some reinforcements up here. Which is a little bit annoying. How long do we have more fresh troops? Uh, they're slowly arriving. Put more infantry divisions in here. More infantry divisions over there. Okay, more people are getting called in. So yeah, but you go there. You go here. China, you can have some docking rights. That's absolutely A-OK -okay by me. Slowly, you know, you can maybe encircle Kiel. Apparently, the United States still wants to actually invest some money into me, which is uh, a surprise to be sure. Yeah, they're actually getting volunteers. How many troops are they getting volunteers from? By about four countries. They're not worth a lot of people, but they're also having a pretty large alliance here. Who's actually a major power in their faction? Denmark, Germany, and Japan. You know, the, the greatest axis of evil the world has ever known. You know, Congo, who's, involved, who's a major power in the CSTO? Is it just Russia? Russia and China. Understandable. Well, what's the manpower looking at? like? Uh, significantly in our favor. Like, so heavily in our favor that it's actually kind of ridiculous. But well, 2.3 million against less than half a, half a million. Yeah, it looks like these guys might be leaving. Where are you going? You stay here. We can kick these guys out a little bit. I would like not to lose Bremen at all. That would be like nice to keep under my control. How long do you actually get there? It'll take you one day, five hours. If you can actually encircle these two sh guys, that'd be quite nice. Ethiopia wants a non-aggression pact. I will take it. Wait, did um? I gotta go back to Ethiopia. Okay, never mind. I thought he looked very familiar, but I was uh, completely wrong in that uh, assessment. Who who else in uh? Yeah, you go to Kiel. It looks like it's basically a territory that we can take pretty easily. Okay, so you guys should hold position. All right, we are kicking these guys out. Didn't even get anything done here. Keep on pushing. And then we'll try to take these two cities of Germany's over here as well. Uh, like, Russia, do you want military access? I will just let you walk into my country for free. Do you want some, uh... No, I can ask, but they won't take it. That's okay. Okay, so the Marines are falling back. Push our way up through uh, Denmark. This will basically be our uh, Danish assault division. Not aggression back with the Chinese. I'll take it. Uh, you can join this army. Are we still in convoy escort? We are. So troops should have no difficulties actually getting from one place to the other. Okay, so all of you guys hold position for now. Get to where you need to be. Hold the defensive line as much as humanly possible. You guys are just really good at attacking. These Panzer uh, divisions from the Germans are doing quite well. How much Denmark? You have four divisions. How many of them are actually around? 
Answers, I don't know. For some reason, that we can't actually click on that one uh, part of Denmark there. It's a little bit strange. The decision's available. We can offer a ceasefire with a bunch of countries. Absolutely not. War will go on until, until the day we die. Okay, yes, so we've gotten that. So, 2002 still. So, quite a while is away. Reconnaissance. Tunnel rats. Planning speed. Encryption. Sure, I don't know what the tunnel rats does, but it sounds cool, so we'll do it. Try to get our reinforcements into these areas. Uh, looks like we might fall back before we can actually get reinforcements arriving. Okay, so it looks like that's the Danish army. Yes, it is. So Denmark's uh, deciding to show up now. We'll at least have the northern area secure. Don't attack right now. I don't think attacking is really in our best interest. I think we are more than just a holding our ground. More than anything. How many men have I lost so far in this war? Uh, 3,000. Uh, that's actually like not that much at all. How many have I killed of? Only like 1,000 Germans have died. 20,000 Japanese have died. Most of them, I'm assuming because they just got sunk on their way over. Yeah, the Marines just kind of suck. So these Marine Divisions, uh, for all of this army, like these Marine Divisions turn into just a regular Infantry Brigade. As well as in this one, you're also just going to be a regular Infantry Brigade. Because you mostly just suck ass. Uh, what can I do? We got National Focus, expand the Home Office. But none of this really helps me out right now, so let's go for some Scottish industry. You know, Ethiopia will improve some investment into your country. That sounds okay to me. We can actually counterattack into there. Like, how is it because the Marine divisions are really small? Oh, yeah, they're tiny. I mean, the infantry brigades are actually really small as well. They're only, uh, they're 17 width. Artillery, they got some engineers in there. We got a light recce. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Yeah, the guards are even smaller of an army. How about you guys just hold off for now? How are we losing so badly? Even with our entrenchment, like, we're not actually doing that well. The whole position, whole position. Russia, can you theoretically be more useful? Because that would be awesome. Or, you know, if South Korea wants to join the war for real this time. Uh, what's this do? So we can spread our influence in there. We can spread our influence in a handful of places. Not that I really care that much. These guys are all, like, Western-focused. Nobody over here is nationalist. And it's the most, it's very disappointing. Iraq's nationalist. They will not join a faction. Who else is over? Jordan's pretty uh, nationalist. But even then, they won't even accept because they're in a war that they don't want to be drawn into. So what all I'm hearing from that is that they're cowards. They'd rather be part of a different faction. Apparently they don't want to join the Asian faction, even though that doesn't really make a lot of sense, given the circumstances. I mean, they're also at war, so I don't know what your problem here is. I mean, our goal is part of our faction. Anybody else would like to uh, get something done here? The answer to that question is no, they do not. They don't want help at all. Democratic ideas is for losers, so I don't know what you're doing over there, America. Wait, no. Cancel Scottish industry. I want to try to see if I can get the United States to join a faction for, like, a day. Okay, let's see if we can actually pull back. Have a fallback line uh, here. 
Their attack is so unbelievably high. Commander skill experience, terrain. Okay, you're slightly over uh, numbered. But that's fine. So leave this. Put you guys here. And you'll be on this front line. All of you go here. Uh, delete these two plans. And then we're going to send over... Let's send, send these two divisions up north. Uh, fallback line here at least a little bit. Of course, uh, Kiel is going to be in a very important city no matter what happens. How long until you fall back? Be one day. You know, at least try to secure some territory here. Not aggression packs. So everybody is excellent. Well, you want me to build uh, air superiority fighters and maritime patrol? There's that one, and then we will build. It is the air superiority, multi-role military transport. Light fighters, air superiority fighters. There we go. Now stop yelling at me, game. Seventy-five percent party popularity. You move in slightly here. You can fall back to this province. It's not going to be like a big issue of yours. We got some Turkish troops over here as well. Basically, I don't want these guys. They're getting a lot of volunteers. Which is an issue for us. Like, Turkey, just join the faction if you're going to be a baby about it. On, uh, what can we do? So, we're 85. We're going to win here. We can probably actually counterattack into them. You'll be there in eight hours. We got some South Koreans kind of doing their own shenanigans. There we go. So we got some Germans are kind of surrounding us a little bit, but hopefully we can be kind of okay here. We got uh, two problems across the river, so these guys attacking over will be pretty uh, weak. How long do you get to reinforce? Okay, you're there now. We got some reinforcements coming in. Actually, uh, you're going to need to protect this area as well. Counter-attacking to you. Keep on pushing your front line further and further back. If we can go straight into Copenhagen, that'd be actually, like, really nice. So we're... I mean, our debt actually doesn't really seem like it's getting that much worse. Like, we're actually making more money now than we were in the past. I'm assuming we're just taxing all the Germans we've conquered. How much is total war? Go for gigantic military spending. Fantastic. We got some troops coming in here to reinforce. You go here. You go here. And then you're going to cross the strait. How long do you get there? I just want to make sure we're not going to... One day, three hours. One day, seven hours. Okay, no. This should be fine. We got some Danish troops trying to uh, do some sneaky maneuvers. Losing that defensive... How are we losing this defensive battle? The Turkish army, for some reason, is just extremely strong. How, how about down here? What's this What's this like? Okay, it's working out absolutely just fine over there in uh, in Africa. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks very much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not, do it, click some down. Don't want to see more subscribe and goodbye.